This is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. And we have some, some stuff y'all need to hear. Now, we're going to talk about the big C. We're going to talk about protection. We're going to talk about our health. We're going to talk about a number of things in the form of warning. But I've come across a few videos where doctors are like basically saying like this doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. This is not adding up. There's solutions to the situation that I don't know why they're not being put on blast by the media or by other doctors, why people aren't speaking up. And, you know, of course, we know that there's an agenda. There's an agenda um, for whether whether it's power, money, control and all this stuff. So obviously that's what one of the doctors was saying. Like, you know, if we as people can't go on a plane and say bomb, you know, and, and everything and mislead and we can be arrested for that. How come these people can go and strike all this fear in the people to make everything seem worse? But there's just several doctors talking about simple solutions that would help the situation that are, that are being not only uh, not shared, but they're actually being like banned. Like the, the, there's certain medication, certain supplements or different things that would help this situation and, the, and what we're going through, but um, they have been completely blocked. And this other doctor was talking about even the same thing like with autism, like there was a very simple solution that can help these children and it was blocked, like nobody could get access to it. And it's, and she was sharing how it's like 50 cents, 50 cents for the antidote, the person can take it for, uh, it could be, it could heal thousands of people for 50 cents of whatever for a $600 vial for a thousand people for two times a day that would help them for seven days. There's so, it's so accessible, but everything that's being shared to us is like the complete opposite of what we should, or is like not lining up to with what the actual data is. So they know this information, they're twisting it and um, they're not treating it properly. And that's why these people are not making it. And then the other thing that they were talking about is how they're pressuring doctors. Like a lot of doctors have come forward about how they're being kind of like forced into how they write the death certificates. Like it's not as structured as it was before, but they're saying like, oh, well, if it's this, then put it as, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just, basically there's just so much that the Lord's showing and specifically pointing out certain people, um, which to me, like I that just shows that he wants us to pray against this. And now we know, like now we have better better targets to pray against. Like we know where the assignments are coming from specifically. So we could specifically pray against it. Wow. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Does anybody else have anything to add to that? Where people's eyes need to yeah. be open. Yes. Today I heard that they're trying to shut down uh, people getting vitamin D, which is one of the best things you can take for not getting this this uh, C uh, thing. Yeah, exactly. And vitamin C is also considered very good. Right. Vitamin A, vitamin E, selenium. There's other things that are considered very good, like, for instance, COQ10, mm -hmm. B12, of course, the D3 especially. You should be taking at least 5,000 uh, uh, ICUs, I think it is, per day. Mm -hmm. Iron, black seed oil, mm. hawthorn berry. Mm -mm -mm. Relora, R E L O R A, B6, Alpha Lipoic Acid, acid mm -hmm. 600, Organic Milk Thistle, mm -hmm. uh, Four Scolin, Magnesium Citrate, Bay Leaf, mm -hmm. DNA Protection Formula. Turmeric, natural vitamin K2 with MK7, uh, elderberry, elderberry, um, gluta, well, G L U T A T H I O N E. Uh, of course, there's uh, Calendula, 
there is licorice root, there is birch, vitamin C is really important, I mentioned that earlier. Z uh, zinc is a good one too. Uh, z oh yeah, that's an extremely good one. Uh, zinc is one of the main ones. Extremely good. Exactly. And, and what uh, they were... Go okay. ahead, I'm sorry. Well, basically, uh, they have already found out now when they were, uh, when the president was saying, oh, we should be taking uh, the hydrochloroquine. Well, what they're doing, what they're sneakily doing is saying, oh, it does not work. Well, the bottom line is it does work, but it works only when you take it in conjunction with zinc and with a Z-Pack. A Z-Pack is extra force. The, the doctors that have been uh, spouting out with working with studies of 200 to 400 patients who were very ill. They actually said that uh, the z pack the hydrochloroquine, and the zinc all together works incredible, almost on everyone. But they have buried that so far that no one knows it. And they're just uh, trying to take these studies with just the hydrochloroquine, which doesn't work on its own. Uh, the zinc, as you were saying, is extremely important. And by the way, all the vitamins and things that I just mentioned, uh, I spent a lot of research with doctors uh, uh, that were on the Internet who were giving out things like that. I know this is uh, another thing. There's another doctor saying that um, this is doesn't act at all like a what is it called, uh, pneumonia. He says it's almost like the person went up to 30,000 feet and all of a sudden the air sucked out of them. He says it's the oxygen deprivation type of problem. Mm -hmm. And he thinks we're treating it totally wrong. Yep. And uh, I think that's why a lot of the people in China, when you see them just killing over in the middle of the street, out of nowhere, because all of a sudden the oxygen was uh, taken out of them. Mm -hmm. Now, whether that's, uh, uh, I think you're all going to have to figure it out for yourselves. Yep. And when you do, you might make it. But the thing you, you should learn that's above everything else is God will take care of you. Jesus will take care of you if you pray and if you're on his, his team. Right. And that's it. Right. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct our paths. Right. Right. Thank you very much, Lynn. Yeah, I feel like a lot of healing in our bodies comes through nutrition, not medicine, through nutrition. Um, a member of our group has a daughter who had got when she was very young. And she's only about five or six now. And because of that, she was a normal child, alert, vibrant, vi full of vitality. And after this, it was like it dummied her down and her developmental pro uh, progress just slowed to a crawl. And they had to get all kind of help to get her stimulated again. Because, see, when you deal with, with things that have uh, insect DNA, animal DNA, you have all kind of crap going on. And you're trying to inject the human host with that. You don't realize the damage that can be done. But then when you look at the meaning, the original meaning of pharma, pharmacia, pharmakia, whatever, whatever it came from, it is not a good thing. So you have to know that, that I mean, you got to pray extra careful. You got to pray deeply and seek God before you allow just anything to get in your body. You can't just trust the industry thinking that it's looking out for your good. You better trust God. The Bible says, do not trust man, trust God. 